Once upon a time in a town old and dreary, though long, long ago, I remember quite clearly from a legend that started in the cold autumn rain in the town at Sleepy Hollow, home of Ichabod Crane. Now, Ichabod had a good head on his shoulders. A smart man he was, though he could have been bolder. He taught in the school the stories of old, for he loved scary stories and legends foretold. Ichabod listened to stories all night. He liked feeling scared when he turned out the light. And he'd scare himself silly when he thought of the beast who rides on his horse, already deceased, through cold autumn nights with a sword dripping red as he looked for a person to replace his own head. Well, the hour was late. It was time to go home. So he headed on out through the dark woods alone. But as Ichabod strode through the bog by the moors, he dreaded the thought of the ghost and his horse. With fog rolling in, and in that night air, he heard a horse gallop and felt all his hair stand up on end for the horse that came toward carried a man with no head and a sword his heart started racing feet started to run through the thick foggy forest as the town's clock struck one and there in the distance Ichabod stood aghast for the man with no head was riding up fast as quick as a rabbit, Ichabod sprinted toward his house to save his fair neck from the sword. But alas, a warp, a swish, and a plop were the last things he heard as he felt something drop. With blood rushing and pumping, his life in a blur, his eyes blinking slowly, his blind in a stir, his head lifted upward, then spinning around. He looked at the horseman, and then to the ground. And there in the wood on that cold autumn eve, as a ghost galloped by with what he retrieved, Ichabod dropped to the dead autumn leaves, while the horseman rode off with a head on his knee. <laughs>